हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू इंजीनियर्स एकेडमी काइंडली सब्सक्राइब माय चैनल इफ यू हैव एंड सब्सक्राइब इट येट नाउ वी आर गोइंग टू सॉल्व दिस प्रॉब्लम व्हिच सेज दैट एस्केलेटर स्टेप्स मूव विद अ कांस्टेंट स्पीड ऑफ 0.6 मीटर पर सेकंड इफ द स्टेप्स आर 125 एमएम हाई एंड 250 एमएम इन लेंथ डिटरमाइन द पावर ऑफ मोटर नीडेड टू लिफ्ट एन एवरेज मास ऑफ 150 केजी पर स्टेप and there are 32 steps so the total mass which the escalator needs to to move up and that is by 4 meter distance so per step it need to carry 150 kg right so since there are 32 steps so the total mass it need to carry is equal to 150 kg per step and we have 32 steps so step will cancel out and we will be left with 150 times 32 kg and now from this we can find the total weight that it must carry so that will be 150 into 32 times 9.81 in newtons so the motor must apply uh, this much force right so we can say that the the force of the motor must be approximately equal to the weight or it should be greater than the weight but it cannot be lesser than the average weight right that it it need to carry so we can say that this is 150 into 32 into 9.81 and as we know that the power is the dot product of the force and velocity so from the dot product we mean that uh, either we have to find the velocity in the direction of the force or we have to find the component of the force in the direction of the velocity so if i draw the free body diagram let's say if i draw the front view so if this is my escalator and this is 4 meter and we can find this length from here to here so this length must be equal to 32 since we have 32 steps and each step has a length of 250 mm so in meters this is 0.25 meters we have to divide by 2000 so if i multiply 32 with 0.25 so this will give us 8 meters right so the horizontal length of the of these 32 steps is equal to 8 meters so i can write that this is 8 meters so in order to lift uh, that weight the motor need to apply the force in the upward direction since the weight is acting in the downward direction so the force must be acting in the upward direction and we need to find the velocity component in the upward direction right so if the velocity is acting in this direction so we need to find the vertical component of the, of the velocity so if this velocity is 0.6 and if if we are having some angle theta here right so that velocity is making that same angle theta here so then this component is the vy component and this is 0.6 sin of theta if this is theta then this is the sin component so from these lengths we can find sin of theta right so we can find uh, this length as well we can find this length by using the pythagoras theorem so let's say that the hypotenuse is let's say this length is x so x square is equal to 8 square plus 4 square under the square root so that will give us the hypotenuse and that is uh, 8 square plus 4 square so this is 4 square root 5 so now the hypotenuse of this triangle is 4 square root 5 so from that we can write that vy is 0.6 sin of theta and sin of theta from this triangle is perpendicular divided by hypotenuse and the hypotenuse is 4 square root 5 so this is the component of the velocity in the direction of that force f so now we can write that this is f into velocity and f is equal to this thing which is 150 into 32 into 9.81 multiplied by the velocity so this is the velocity which is 0.6 into 4 divided by 4 square root 5 so 4 will cancel out so we will be left with 1 divided by square root 5 so this will give us the power 
that will be required by the motor to lift this much weight, right? So that is 150 multiplied by 32 multiplied by 9.81 multiplied by 0 0.6 multiplied by 1 divided by square root 5. So this is 12635, 12,635 watt. Uh, we can say that this is 12.635 kilowatt. So this is the solution of this particular problem. I hope this will help you in your learning. Do subscribe my channel for the solution of such more problems from Hibler Dynamics.